Will Ferrell fans, you're in luck. It's me, Jackie Mo. Let's get sweaty. Let's get really sweaty. I'm talking rainforest sweaty. I'm talking swamp sweaty. Hello there. I'm Jackie Moon. Owner, player, coach. You need a fourth reason to get season tickets? You're looking at it. Call now. Come on, people, let's get sweaty. Basketball sweat. Yes, the funny man's latest film, Semi Pro, hits cinemas this weekend. Set in 1976, Feral stars as Jackie Moon, a one hit wonder who used the profits of his chart hit, Love Me Sexy, to fund his dream of owning a basketball team. Side, the Flint, Michigan Tropics are part of the Maverick ABA, a basketball league that rivaled the NBA. But they're the worst team in the league and in danger of being cut when the ABA and NBA merge. Sure, you've all heard the rumors, and they are true. The ABA will be merging with the NBA at the end of this season. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I did it! A real owner. Jackie, let go. I did it. All right, let's... <laughs> I'm the greatest man in the world. Woo! Oh, I'm so happy. I can't even feel my arms. <laughs> okay, Jackie, listen to me. Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Yes. Four teams will be absorbed into the NBA next year. The rest of the league will terminate operations. Exactly. You know it. Wait. Wait, what did you say? Comedy antics ensue, and if you liked Anchorman and Talladega Nights, you'll love Semi Pro. As Emma Lloyd, Uma Thurman is New York's official love doctor. Dishing out advice daily on her radio show, she's sensible, practical, and no nonsense. I don't, but since you called, here's some advice. And she's got a sensible, practical, and no nonsense fiance, dependable Richard, played by Colin Firth. But her world's turned upside down when she finds out she's already married to Richard's complete opposite, a wholly unsuitable fireman. Please exit the elevator. Her accidental husband is Patrick Sullivan, played by the gorgeous Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And Uma says both her co-stars were a joy. You know, it's always two girls in a movie and one guy or something. So in this movie, it's two guys and, and me and two wonderful guys, Colin Firth and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. You couldn't ask for two more dashing and charming and talented uh, leading men. So to get to work with both of them was an absolute treat. As well as starring in this romantic comedy, Uma's back in her producer's hat. It's the second time she's taken on the role, and Colin Firth reckons she's a great boss. This is her project, and, you know, it, it, it means that there's a lot invested in it. She, she's not just showing up to do a day job. You know, so we were, we were very well looked after. It was a lot of commitment in it. Uma Thurman's got some of the most memorable films on her CV. I'm talking, of course, of Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill, where she worked with legendary director Quentin Tarantino. Is there any possibility of maybe kind of a collaboration with Mr. Tarantino with you? At the moment, we don't have any collaboration planned, except that we've sort of had a habit of getting in each other's way for our, our creative lives. Um, but uh, I'm not sure what he's going to do next. I, I think I know what he's going to do next, but we'll have to see if he actually ends up doing it. He can be quite surprising. I can't start a rumour about Kill Bill 3, maybe? No rumours about Kill Bill 3 for now. Such a shame. I know, sorry. <laughs> Lovely, thank you very much. So nice to meet you. Lovely. Now, we all know the story of the great train robbery, but did you know there was an even bigger robbery a few years later? The true story of what happened when thieves got into Lloyd's Bank on Baker Street in 1971 is the subject of Jason Statham's latest film, The Bank Job. Even at the time, the details of what went on were kept under wraps, as Jason explains. Yeah, you know, we don't know who got caught, who got killed, who got away, who went to prison. Uh, those facts we don't know because there was a huge blanket that was you know, thrust upon the press, a D-notice that was given, and, uh, you know, that takes a phone call from a very high official within the government, Ministry of Defence. Jason plays Terry, a car dealer who just wants to put his old crooked life behind him and start all over with a new family. But then he gets offered the job of a lifetime, robbing a bank on London's famous Baker Street. So we're going to sit here all night making small talk? I know you, Terry, and I know your mates. You've always been looking for the big score. 
the one that makes sense of everything. I have it for you. What? A bank. A bank, as in Rob. <laughs> it was the contents of some of the bank's safety deposit boxes that the men stole that caused more trouble than the cash that they got away with. Often they were used to store illegal or secret items. In particular, it was some sexy pictures of a member of the royal family that caused the biggest stir. Uh, but, you know, there's a few questions and a few raised eyebrows about you know, the, uh, the royal that was on a particular set of photographs within one of the boxes. So. Well, if a real-life mystery is your thing, the bank job is out this weekend.